Well, this, this truck is a result of a hippie who was already living in a vehicle getting an inheritance. I lived in a, a metro step van for about four years. This was on the road for 20 years. The last 11 years, 10, 11 years, it's been parked in one place. It didn't move until it came here, and I thought it would never move again. Okay, like the steps will have to be moved, all of this wood, of course, all oh, yeah. you're going to get all that done. You either trim the tree or knock the fence down. It's heavy as hell, isn't it? The design of this truck was copied from Roger Beck's truck with permission. He's the one that wrote, some turtles have nice shells. It's a regular double-sized bed, and then there's room around the edges, and then on both of either side of these walls are nice cabinets. This is where I sat and made most of my bags over the years. This is curly maple, one step down from bird's eye. The, the floor is oak. This is coal wood from Hawaii. The walls are um, cedar. We neglected just to say outside the siding is redwood. Thank you so much. You're welcome. We're doing such a great job. I really appreciate that. No problem. <laughs> it was, was it? Good. <laughs> we got lots of looks coming. Oh, I know. You can imagine me driving and the gorge. This around. In tomorrow morning, I'm on my way back to Idaho to my new life and my new home. I live in a Basque sheep herder's wagon on the Salmon River, and I'm a senior apprentice of a of a wonderful herbalist named Darcy Williams.